Hello everybody. So, got another snack crate. And this month is Spain. I'm excited. So there's the little guy in the back. And it always has like a pretty paper with words in the language of wherever it's from. And then in the pamphlets, they tell you a little bit about the place and they have fun facts. So like one of them is that um, the world's oldest restaurant is in Madrid, the capital of Spain. It says it's been open since 1725 which is cool, but it always gives you like a little bit of information and then it tells you what you have in your box. And then right now with it being summer, they do have a um, option where in the shipping you can have your boxes sent with like refrigerator style. So I guess I'm gonna assume it has like cold packs and like ice packs in there. Um, it's about an extra like five dollars like 4.99 um but it'll help like especially if you live in an area that gets super super hot i kind of just watch mine and then go go pick it up as soon as it says it's delivered um but if you live someplace where you know it would get stuck in your mailbox for a while that's nifty for them to have available and then you get fun stickers get kids they'll definitely take those so it comes with all kinds of snacks that are from that country. Um, they're not like ideas of what they would have there. They're actually from that country. So that's cool. With that said, means they come in not English. So, which is where this little guy comes in handy. So it says, this is a national favorite in Spain. It says they're wavy potato chips that feature a salty and savory flavor of ham. So, I guess it's supposed to be like a piece of ham. And then they have a little food pyramid. And at the top, it says snacks. Not sure how their pyramid works, but assuming what's at the top you eat the least of, maybe? They, I love ham, but they kind of smell like dog treats, <laughs> which just sounds so gross. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, we'll move on to the next thing. This is a pretty bag. Some more chips. So these ones are fried egg chips. So it says that these uniquely flavored savory chips they're great served as a party snack or served with a sandwich made with ham. I think they like ham. <coughs> so, I'm assuming they're supposed to taste like fried eggs. They smell like regular Lay's potato chips. These are really good and they taste just like fried eggs. Like they taste like sunny side up eggs. It's just so good. I could sit here and eat the whole bag. <laughs> Let me put those down. <laughs>
Okay. Those were really good though. Salty. But taste just like eggs. So if you like eggs, you'll like these. If you don't like eggs, you're not gonna like them because they taste just like eggs. So next thing we're gonna try Filipino? Filipino? I don't know. Looks like donuts though. So on here it says that they are crunchy ring shaped biscuits, chocolate biscuits, that are then dipped in chocolate. They look like donuts. Those are super good. I could definitely eat a whole bunch of those. I feel like by the end of today, these will be gone. Let's see. What else? So I'm going to try these guys right now. They're like... I'm not too excited for. So they're spicy mango, like gummies. And so it says they're supposed to be a sweet and spicy mango flavored gummy. It says they're fruity with a kick of fiery heat. I love spicy stuff. I'm not a fan of mango. And like the, the way they look is kind of gross too. Because I know I'm not the biggest fan of mango. So take a little piece. They're actually really good. And it says a lot because I don't like mangoes. Surprisingly, oh, there it is. It's gonna say it wasn't spicy. You just gotta give it a second. up at the end. Well then. But they taste just like mangoes. Let me rephrase. So when I say I don't like mangoes, I don't like things that are flavored like mango. They never, like they always have perfumey taste. But those are good. Don't know if I'll eat them though. <laughs> Let's see. What other goodies do we have? all kinds of stuff in this box this time. I'm so excited for these. So like I looked at the pamphlet before I started this and so it had one of these in there and in the picture I thought it was a small one. Look how big this is. Guys this is like as big as my face. It's huge. I already know what these taste like. You get them all the time. You can find like a small version of these in like a box usually like a like a big size box at Walmart it's good I don't know if it's because the box you know like the traveling and stuff it's a little soft and they're supposed to be crunchy but it still tastes amazing So we have another gummy. So these ones are supposed to be orange and lemon. You can just tell from the packaging that that's what they are. I've noticed like all the gummies in these, even when they come from different countries, are still the same brand we all know for our gummies. So that's nice that that's just a universal gummy company. But I love, anyone that knows me knows that I love 
anything flavored, scented, lemon, orange. Anything. I'll get it open eventually. Well, I struggle with this. Let's see what else is in the box. Why will this not open? Right, there we go. All right. Do I want to do orange or lemon? Let's do orange. Look how cute those are. It even has, like, you can't really see in the camera, but it even has like little ridges like an orange slice. They're so good. By far my favorite. We should have these in. They should sell these in stores. So good. Let's see. Next thing, we'll do something sweet. Because that wasn't sweet. I will admit, they do put a lot of sweet stuff in here. So, here's another little snack. This one, not in English. Little Prince guy on here. Looks like he's throwing you the candy bar. <laughs> Interesting. But, it says it's a biscuit bar that's filled with rich milk chocolate and puffed rice. And then it's dipped in more chocolate. It's really good. It's really just like a biscuit with like, almost like Nutella textured chocolate. Not flavored, but like textured. And then dipped in more chocolate. Very chocolatey. So the next thing we're gonna do is one of these. And when I first look at it, and like I read the description for it, so it says it's a delicious milk chocolate candy bar that has candy coated chocolate pieces in it. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like our M&M bars that are new-ish. They're not like super new, but. That is my guess, because that's what it sounds like. So you can see like little pieces. They look like mini M&Ms. I'm looking at the package. And it definitely told me to open this from the other end. <laughs> oh well. It's good. It definitely tastes like off-brand M&M candy bar. Like if another candy company was like, let's copy them. That's what it tastes like. Let's see, what else do we have? We have got one of these little nifty guys. So this is layers of wafer cookie sandwich between peanut butter and dipped in chocolate. And I love peanut butter. I'm one of those people that when I'm like really in the mood for peanut butter, we'll legit just take a spoon to peanut butter and just put a whole bunch of peanut butter in a spoon and walk around my place eating it. There's nothing wrong with that. Best thing in the world. Mm. So, the second you take a bite, 
you taste peanut butter. However, it also almost tastes like like there's lemon or something in it. Which my first thought is it's because of these candies. But I ate something between that and this. So I'm gonna try another bite. Drink some water. No, there's definitely like a, it's like a slight aftertaste of like lemon, which is weird. I'm not sure where that came from. There's not lemon in my water. So that is, it's different. I'm not sure about it now. <laughs> was excited. Now I'm not sure. So the next thing, <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of candy in these boxes another candy bar so this one says it's a delicious chocolate fill it says chocolates filled with vanilla cream and bits of chocolate cookie so cookies and cream and a candy bar can't go wrong open here because I'm assuming that's what these <laughs> words mean because it's not in English maybe I'll open here A little soft probably from its journey here to my apartment so it looks really cute it's a simple square It's very creamy. Um, very sweet. Like super, super sweet. Uh, definitely doesn't make me think cookies and cream. It almost reminds me of like taking an Oreo, like our Oreos that were dipped in fudge and then they sold them that way. It's kind of what it reminded me of, but more like, like a double stuffed one that was like then dipped in that chocolate fudge coating. That's what it makes me think of. I don't know quite yet how I feel about it. So also in your box, they usually put like these small like candies. So you usually get like a good handful of like little candy pieces, I'm just dropping them everywhere. So there are these little guys, and then these fun things, which I remember having these as a kid. So these guys, a red package, and so it says that they are a bright red candy with a crunchy, sugary outer layer, and then inside is a soft, chewy, like gummy. And it's supposed to be cherry flavor, not big, like red cherry flavor person. Mm. Mm -mm. That's gross. texture and taste instantly made me think of if you took a giant spoon you put sugar on it and then you took cherry cough syrup and poured it over that sugar and then put it in your mouth so like the outside crunchy part wasn't crunchy it was very like granulated sugar almost and then the inside was just gooey wasn't even full gummy it was more gooey texture and it was definitely like that artificial cherry 
cough syrupness that we're all so used to from our childhood. It's candy. It wasn't great. So, one of the other little candies they put in here are one of these little guys. So they are Chumpa Chumps Melody Strawberry. So this one's strawberry. So they're Melody Pops, which I remember having these as a kid. As a kid, I grew up all over the world. So if I was in the United States or not, I don't remember. But I do remember these candies. Because I remembered that I got it on my parents' nerves with them. That would be how I remember the candies, was being obnoxious. Oh guys, that's so cute. So as soon as I can get the package off, well, here, I'll show you. So this was on the outside. And I was trying to take it off and there's another sheet inside that has a music sheet. That I don't remember. Thinking I was a kid, so I probably just ripped the whole thing off and just like started eating it. These are always like the hardest things to take off. It's the wrapper. We'll get there eventually, guys. So, <laughs> I'm struggling so hard with this. You need the wrapper. Okay. So, try not to break it. It has a little music sheet on there like that is so cute so the first one says when the saints go marching in can we just talk about how this is in english now all of these candies have not been in english and this is all in english and then beethoven's fifth symphony is on here and so they have like the music notes and then like the numbers but here at the bottom they show you like what your whistle needs to be in position of to make the sound. And this is what it looks like. Like I remember this, it looks like a whistle and then this piece slides in and out. Just like that. And as a kid, that's what I all I used to do. So like I said, I don't know if these used to be in there but I definitely used to do this as a kid. Maybe that's why my parents stopped buying them for me. I could see how that got on people's nerves. It tastes good though. Definitely once you get past a certain point of eating it, you can't play the instrument anymore, I don't think. At least it'd be very difficult to. But, yeah. I'm gonna have fun with that a bit. I'll do the rest of that off camera to not annoy anybody else. I lied. One more time. <laughs> I can't help myself. That's so much fun. So, when I do my boxes, I do the original. So, I got all of these items and all of these items. So on here, I was supposed to get one of these. It's another type of chip, um, but looked like they make them run out. So whenever they run out, they like give you a different item for one of the other sections. And that's where these guys came in, which I'm not upset with. But I do the upgrade option, which has a drink in it. So in this drink, it says it was created in 1950 and it has an intense flavorful soda that is made with real lemon juice. So and this is what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. I did open, like I said, I opened the box early mainly because I wanted to get the drink out and put it in the um, fridge so it could be cold because I don't like warm drinks. So like most people don't. It tastes very, smells very strong, so I meant to say. Wow. So, my thought was that it was going to be a lot like Sprite. 
It's a lot like you took pure lemon juice and carbonated water. That's exactly what this tastes like. I mean, it says made with real lemon juice, but it's so strong. Like, it makes you pucker, it's that strong. Like, it's great. It's very refreshing, because it's very hot right now outside. And so I could see how this would be like a really like popular drink at the same time feel like I'm biting into a lemon when I drink this. So I'm not sure like if that's amazing because it tastes just like a lemon and it's so strong or if I'm not going to drink it because it's so like strong lemon flavor. But that is that is everything from this month's box. Definitely 100% my least favorite is these weird ham chips. Like that. I might have some friends try it and then it's just going to go in the garbage. That's gross. But of course my all time favorite are these guys. Everything else was amazing. I love chocolate. I love all the candies. But these are like my favorite things. This definitely threw me back to childhood. So that's cute. Um, but I'll definitely add a link at the bottom if you guys want to check them out. They are right now doing a promotion where your first box is only a dollar. It'll be a mini box, which usually has about six items in it. So it's still a good amount of things. Um, but they usually let you actually pick the first one. They'll have like three options each month. It changes. Um, but they have that going on right now. So if you guys definitely want to look into it, I'll put a link at the bottom. Thanks for watching.